For years, plastic bags have been a continuous problem. In 2014, Governor Jerry Brown had signed the first statewide ban on single-use plastic bags in the U.S. This law allows citizens to stop leaving plastic bags that can lead to pollution and affect our climate. This bill is a step in the right direction. It reduces the torrent of plastic pollution at our beaches, parks, and even the vast ocean itself, Brown said. However, some stores are still offering a thicker plastic bag, which allows people to be concerned. Although the ban was enacted, some stores are not, are not covered by the state law, which continues to allow citizens to litter these bags around our world. As a citizen who has witnessed thousands of plastic bags on the streets throughout the years, I hope to make a change. If these plastic bags are not thrown away, and it can do a lot of damage a statewide to our ban animals on and plastic our world. bags needs to be enacted again if we want our environment to be better and wildlife slash marine life to be safe. This ban will get rid of all plastic bags, even those that are reusable. Most of the time, these reusable bags turn into a one-use-only bag for some people. So getting rid of plastic bags altogether will lower the risk they have on our animals and in our, and our environment. I will face many challenges and go through many obstacles for my voice to be heard and my issue to be resolved. I will need to communicate with a wide range of individuals who are more experienced than me in this topic and get information on how I can really put my issue on the table. I was able to reach out to teachers at SHC and get their input and opinions on my issue of banning plastic bags. The two individuals I talked to were Ms. Kleckner, SHC's marine bio teacher and former marine biologist, and Mr. Lee, the AP environmental t science teacher. I learned from them that the problem with plastic bags is they end up littering the environment along with the ocean. If plastic bags are recycled or they make it into the landfill, the, em the impact is greatly reduced. However, if these plastic bags are left on the ground, they break into smaller pieces known as microplastics which can be eaten by animals and can absorb and concentrate dangerous chemicals, states Mr. Lee. Not only do plastic bags harm wildlife, but they're also a danger to marine life. Plastic causes a lot of issues with animals like turtles because they mistake them for, for jellyfish. Marine animals mistake plastic bags for food since a lot of plastic bags are used for carry-out so animals digest it. However, Ms. Kluckner explained that the reason why plastic bags are so harmful is because there's no nutrition in the bags and they basically starve to death. The quotes under their names were an eye-opener of how dangerous plastic bags really are. I made an Instagram account to spread my issue around. Having an Instagram account for my issue will allow people to be aware of the environment and the animals they hurt when using plastic bags. I also chose to make a simple flyer using vibrant colors as it will attract the human eye. The small messages I put on the flyer were to encourage people to get up and start making a change. The message, what you do in your life matters, will help people look back at what they've done to make a change and to motivate them to join me. I also attached my Instagram handle on the bottom of the page so people, so people can look for ways to help the movement. I, I need a strong team together, to work strong with who will really push so my issue. With other Mr. Lee and Ms. Kleckner have been very so that helpful in providing me information. Both of them are on areas. my team to guide me. I would need to organize a day and a time success. for us to get together Using and start working on getting the area clean. I would set up a volunteer bags. opportunity for those who support my issue and want to make a change. Clean up. I would need to reach out to other environmental groups and land a more beach. We would be able to hold the same event in different states or different hand will come straight to the beach at the time of the cleanup. for all of us to get together. I will working set up a stand on getting the area the clean and safe from plastic bags. And we will I'll make flyers and Instagram all the posts information announcing the cleanup in Pacifica and near Linda Morby to Pacifica, clean up California. the beach and get Those who wish from to plastic bags. lend a helping hand will come straight to the beach uh, while at the time of the everyone is working my on team and different I will set up a stand beach. in front of Linda Morby Beach at the on stand February 23rd, and give out 2021 for volunteers to meet up. Who are more curious about the topic and go to want to make a change about 4 o'clock p.m. Water the amount of garbage people will produce will be provided. Pollution. There will be a check in list on the stand for everyone to write their information down. Toxic pollutants. I'll split them it has the ability to cause so that we can cover as much area as possible. A plastic I'll bag can take between 400 to 1,000 years to break down in the environment. As it continues to break down throughout the years, the plastic particles contaminate soil and water as well. Entering the food web. While they are and working animals on their mistake them, areas, I will stay at the stand and give out flyers. This project will allow me to see the negative aspects of our world we tend to overlook. It. How humankind takes for granted our environment and the amazing resources it, resources it gives us. 
Working on my issues these past months have shaped me to become a better individual, throwing away garbage where needed, and recycling plastic. It motivated me to pay closer attention to how the environment and our animals provide for us in our everyday survival.